This is the CBS 42 Morning News. Welcome back. Your time is now 541 on yet another cold day. But Griffin, you're saying it's going to at least be a tad bit better because it'll be sunny. Yeah, it'll be sunny. And when you're in the sunshine, it feels decent outside. When you're in the shade in the afternoon, yeah, it just feels kind of brisk. But yeah. it should be pretty nice, all things considered, all across the deep south. And this is a lot better compared to the day that we had yesterday where it was all clouds and rain and just all around icky outside. That was the word we decided on the morning show yesterday. Today will not be icky for sure. 36 in Gadsden right now, though, very chilly as you walk out the door in Anniston as well. 32 right at freezing there. 34 in Tuscaloosa, sun coming up in Hamilton as well, sitting at 31 degrees. There's a light north breeze that makes it feel a little bit chillier outside, of course. 27 the wind chill in Birmingham, 23 in Coleman, 25 is what it feels like up to the northwest in Hamilton. High temperatures today should be comfortable by November standards, although below average. 57 in Birmingham, 58 in Alabaster. All sunshine all day long. Should feel pretty good out there. And I think that continues for the rest of the weekend as well into tomorrow. We have a breeze that's staying out of the north, all the clouds and all the rain, the moisture staying to the east of us. And that continues into the overnight hours as well. So your Sunday looks pretty nice as well. Perfect weekend to go outside and watch football. If you don't plan on doing that already, here's your game day forecast. We've got Alabama taking on Mississippi State up in Starkville. Temperature should be in the 50s. Kickoff time there at 11 a.m. Georgia, of course, taking on Auburn here on CBS 42. 2.30 p.m. kickoff, temperatures in the 50s there as well. Texas El Paso takes on UAB at home here in Birmingham. Also, temperatures in the 50s and kickoff time at 12 p.m. today. Here's your updated seven-day forecast. More clouds to start off the week next week. That's going to help to keep the temperatures cooler, of course. And not any big rain chances to worry about. We're not really expecting any big cold fronts to pass through in the immediate future. But towards the tail end of the work week, it looks like our next best chance to see a few showers will be on Thursday and Friday. By then, we'll also be a tad bit warmer, but not by much. 68 your forecast on Thursday, but that's the warmest we'll be for the rest of the seven-day forecast.